All right, everyone. Today's fire alarm test two, and we're going to be testing the system sensor PC twenty four eleven five ceiling ceiling mount Spectre Alert Classic. It's it's the ceiling mount version of the classic Spectre Alert, which I have right to the right here. This one has the lines going around the strobe with the grill like a planet Saturn, and this one has the lines going across. But this alarm right here is not going to be included in the video because this was already tested back in Fire Alarm Test 1. Let's take a look at the back. Here's your terminals right there. Here's your label. Yeah, the camera doesn't feel like focusing today. There we go. System sensor PC24115. Here's your dip switches. My other alarm takes jumpers. Terminals and connections. Yep, that's how it is. Just classic ceiling mount. The classic. And I ordered two alarms, and they're coming in a couple of days. More. Okay. That's it. Now we're going to be testing the strobe. So, here we go. Yeah, the strobe is 115 candela. There is nothing I can do about it. As for some reason... If you hear it closely in here, the horn is powered up a little bit. You could barely hear it. The strobe does make the same noise as a Spectre Alert strobe. Because I'm controlling this off of 27 volts. I don't know about 27 volts. I know this is supposed to be 24 volts. This might kill the strobe, but I can't run it for too long, okay? So, a couple more flashes, and then... That's extremely bright. Okay, that's it. Now we're going to be testing the horn and strobe together. And yes, this is going to make the same noise as my classic Spectre Alert. Because it's going to pretty much have the same horn. So, it's going to end up loud just like my classic Spectre Alert that I tested in the last video, it's going to make the same noise. Code 3. Ready? 3, 2, 1. That's extremely loud, just like my classic Spectre Alert. I hope you enjoyed this, and that's it, and thanks for watching.